we're crappy fishing here in the pond today. Uh, the water, as you can see, is is pretty murky. I mean, it's been raining here. It's pretty much everything's flooded. We just came out this afternoon to try to have a good time and uh, catch some of these crappy out of this pond. Uh, we fished for about probably 15 minutes with not much luck with just a little hair jig. Uh, we started adding some scent to it with these Potsky garlic fireballs. Uh, we've caught four fish in a row adding scent to these to these jigs, adding those fireballs. So they're definitely helping us this afternoon. <laughs> Look at that joke. What about? Oh, he's running, boy. Nice. Good lord. For a pond, crappy. That's a good one there. Look at that joker. Oh, jeez. Guys, it kind of makes it worth coming down when you catch them like that. Look at there, boys. <laughs> That's some great eating size fish. I mean, that you don't you don't find fish in a pond that average, you know, 10 to 13 inches a whole lot. They, you know, they're usually real small in a pond, but this is just a great pond. Ooh, That's gonna be yeah. a better fish. He's staying down. Yeah, he's a pretty decent fish. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sweet. Ooh, Ooh. up and in. Easy. Ooh. Nice crappie. Absolutely hammered it. Awesome fight. Awesome crappie. I'm gonna tell you what we're using today. Um, I'll start with the jig. These are just some little hair jigs made by Ricky Willis over in Georgia. Uh, it's called a sugar bug. Uh, we're taking these jigs. It's a 16th ounce jig. We're taking these jigs and we're tipping them with Potsky crappy fireballs. That's just giving it a little bit of scent because we got a lot of muddy water here. The, the the whole the whole pond's muddy, so that scent's helping us get several extra bites a day that we normally wouldn't get without that scent on our jig. Uh, I've got a Hurricane Howard five and a half foot dock shooting rod here. Uh, just a great casting and dragging and dock shooting rod. I mean, they, they, it's as good as they come, as good as I've used anyway. Uh, 500 series Hurricane Howard reel. Um, seven ball bearing, smooth drag. We're using a six pound test this afternoon. Uh, gamma fishing line is what we're using. That's a good one. Uh, Y'all want to get a little net on this one, Mitch? All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty. Fish on. Oh, yeah, another good one. Another good one. Come on. Sweet. Nice, big. Awesome crappie. We got a pink fireball, crappy ball on here right now. We'll see what it does. We've been using chartreuse. We just changed up a little color. See, see how long it takes. Not Ooh. long, baby. Not long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. I like when it works out like this. Look at there. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Woo! Holy. <laughs> he swallowed that joker too, buddy. Look at that little joker. Pretty little fish, man. We get a lot of questions about the why do we use the high biz line. And uh, the reason I use the high biz line uh, when I'm casting and dragging is where I can watch my line on the water and, and I can detect a bite by watching my line. I don't I don't have to feel the fish hit, you know, actually feel him hit the rod, or the, the jig, I should say, to know that I had a hit. I can watch this high biz line even when the sun's out, uh, or even when there's not a lot of light outside, you can still see this high biz line in both situations. And uh, if you get good at it, you never have to feel a fish hit. You can, you can actually watch your line the entire time and know exactly when you get a bite. Oh, uh, so that, that's why we use this high biz line. Man, these things are stacked in this pond. 
I mean, there, there, there's a little channel running through this thing, and these little crappies just stacked, and they're, they're, they're only the one that got away. They're only like two to three foot deep in there, and we're, we're taking these jigs tipped with fireballs, and I mean, it's almost every cast. I mean, they, they are just knocking the heck out of these jigs tipped with these fireballs. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Side winding on. That's a good one. You going under the boat? You don't care. <laughs> Come on. Easy, easy. Oh Come yeah, on, nice. Nice slab. Open in. Nice fish. Another absolute beast of a slab and just absolutely hammered it yet again. What a great day out here on the pond. Came out here to just have a good time this afternoon. Um, end up catching probably, we probably caught 60 to 70 fish this afternoon. And as you can see, there's some beautiful fish out here. Uh, caught every fish we caught today on a, on a hair jig tip with a, with a Potsky fireball, crappy fireball. Uh, we tried some chartreuse minnows today and some regular minnows. Today was just an artificial day. That's what they wanted. Uh, tip with a fireball for a little scent. Uh, and as you can see, it paid off for us big time today. Think you can catch that, Eric? <laughs> that thing will bite your finger yeah. off. Where do you want to? Catch that with your hands. That's a big old loggerhead. Oh my gosh. Look at him. You he think lives. he's a crop eater? He lives here, buddy. That's a oh, big Wow, that is a big turtle. Look at him. 